Hi, it's Timothy also with 9533 Training Consulting. I want to talk to you about that webbing that we went over earlier on how to make the beaver tails. Webbing is going to allow you to be able to do a lot of different things. You can take something from this into webbing, which will allow you to save your life. <laughs> It's Timothy also with 9533 Training Consulting, and we're going to show you how to take this webbing right here and actually make a workable harness out of it. We've got my lovely assistant here that's going to help us out with that. Now, this webbing is cut to my length. Your webbing should be about one and a half times your height. Uh, I am about six feet. So this is what? 6, 12 plus 3, 15 feet. So it's a lot of webbing right here. So we're going to go ahead and put it on her. There's, we're going to go around it a couple more times just to take up some slack. You don't necessarily need to do that, but we can go ahead and get that done. So let's show you how we can go ahead and get this. The first thing we want to do is we want to find the middle of the webbing. Mine is marked. If you don't have a mark, just find the middle because that's what's going to go in the middle of your back. So let's get this tried out. All right, webbing's in the middle of the back. Now, as we come around back to the front, we want to make sure that we do our overhand and we go around twice. There we go. And this is going to be the start of our anchor for where we're going to be putting our carabiner. So you're going to want this tight because this is going to be the start of everything else. And then we let it hang. We're going to reach from underneath between our legs. And this is where we're going to start to make our H harness. Our H harness is going to be the start of our seat. So now if you look from behind, we want to make sure that it is comfortable. Don't put them too close together because it's just not going to feel comfortable at all. As we come around, all right, we want to go ahead underneath the webbing. And what I like to do, because this is going to, we want to make sure this doesn't slip, all right? We want to go, what I do is I go around the webbing twice. It gives it a little bit more of stability and an anchor as the dog is barking. Good job, dog. <laughs> so that it doesn't move. And we'll do the other side. Under? Turn. Yep. I'm going to come by right about the middle of your hip here. And we're going to go around again. Perfect. All right, so now we've got the sides of our H harness. Now with that, we are going to start to do our waist. Now, to take out more slack, I can come back underneath and basically come back around. But right here is where you normally start to go around your waist. So we're gonna take this one, we're gonna go from our left to right. As we cross the middle, we're gonna go through the center. Like that? <laughs> come out through here. Come out through the top. And this is what's going to come around, and we'll just take the little ant off there. Oh, thanks. And then we're going to go through the center again. And up or down, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All the way through, like that. And come through. Come through the middle. middle. Like that. Perfect. Now we're starting to go around. So as we go around behind our back, remember, as we go through the center lines, we want to go through the middle. So as we come through the center line, we come through and continue on. And we come through the middle, take the leaf out, <laughs> and turn around. Grab this side right here. There we go. So now we've come around our back. Every time we come through the center or our center of our back, we're going to go ahead and go through the webbing. Now we're going to go ahead and finish this off. We do have a lot of slack. I can go around again just to take it out. But we're not going to worry about this. Once again, it's not made for her. It's waiting for me. So we want to tie off on the right or left side. Mm, right side. Right side. All right. So as we're coming across the middle, we got to go through what? The, the center. And then do I go up? Nope. Come right back through the top. Come right back through the top. Like that. There we go. And now we're coming over to our side. So as we come to the side, we want to do just basically a square knot. So I've got everything here. Everybody remembers our Boy Scout and Girl Scout days of doing a square knot. Right over left, left over right. We've got our square knot. Now, I like to put two safety knots in here. And by doing the safety knots, I grab everything that's here. All right? 
So you can go up or down, whichever direction you want to go. So I've got my first one. And now my second one. And on the other side, I'm going to put another safety knot. Now remember, this is just simple webbing. If you're up off the ground 100 feet and you're doing an emergency rappel or you need to do something, you want to make sure that this does not come undone. Once this starts to unravel, that's it. So we put our safety knots in. Square knot is not going to, it's not a knot that's going to loosen itself up and unravel, but we want to make sure that we are safe. So this is off to the side. This allows us in the front here to do a good carabiner connection. And you can see that we've got good stability because of the two parts that are going to our H harness, the carabiner is not going to move. It's going to stay centered. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck this extra webbing out of the way just for now. It's just tucked. And you can see as we follow it around, we've got a good harness. It's going to give you a good seated position so that it's not going to move. You're going to be comfortable in it. We've got the crisscross in the back so it doesn't come undone. And we've got a good portion in the front, which is allowing our harness to stay and our carabiner to stay in place. Is it comfortable? Very. Very comfortable. All right. As you can see, we want to make sure that you guys check that like and subscribe button. It's right around, it, I think it's one of these sides. Is it here or there? I'm going to say it's here. Like and subscribe. Click the button, you'll be able to see all the new content that comes out. Click the bell, it'll actually help you so that you won't miss out on anything. As always, on time, on target, never quit. Hoo ya. All right, and three, two, one. This is too. We're gonna make webbing, we're gonna make harnesses. Yeah. <laughs>